Man, this lighting is not great. I'll be honest. That's the best I got. It's just hotel lights. Yo, kind of blurry as well, but I'm not about to buy a uh, fancy caramel lights for the time being here. Hi. I also like the the black bars on the side. Really gives it a vintage feel. Makes it look like some kind of old timey stream. Yo, how's it going, everyone? How's it going? You know the drill. I am streaming because I have a sponsor stream today, so that's why I'm here. Don't get it confused that I want to talk to you guys or anything. I'm just here for the sponsor. In fact, this is a sponsor stream with a bit of regular stream mixed in. Normally, what streamers do is they do a regular stream and then they throw in a bit of sponsor stream. I do the opposite. I do way more sponsor stream and then I throw in... A bit of regular stream. But you guys you guys know that about me anyway. No one no one here is surprised. The only people who are surprised are people who don't watch the stream and everyone here watches the stream. But yeah, um here I am. I I wasn't I wasn't really gonna tell anyone I was still in Japan. But this morning, my agent messaged me and said, Hey, are you ready for your sponsor stream? I'm like, huh? Mul Multiverses, I did it four days ago. And they said, wow, that's, that's your first sponsor stream. Wow, but your second sponsor stream. So here I am for my second sponsor stream. Um, I'm pretty sure my Chrome just died. So if, if anyone's typing in chat, I can't read anything. Yeah, my Google Chrome died. Uh, is my stream on? Hello? I can't tell because um, my Twitch is broken. Okay, I'm still here. Okay, good, good, good. Um, anyway, yeah, I was not going to tell people I was still in Japan. Uh, just because, I don't, I don't know. You guys, I mean, um, I wasn't gonna tell people I was still in Japan. I mean, I was gonna tell people, but not like right away until I found out I had a sponsor stream. Um, my Chrome just okay. I need a, okay. I'm gonna have chat open on my phone every time I try and open chat on Chrome, it dies. <clears throat> Page is unresponsive. Okay. Here we go. Uh, I'm going to have the phone on the side. So if I look to the right, you know I'm reading chat. Uh, but then I have to look at people's names, which I hate. That was, I thought the title said stayed in Japan. That's because that is the title. That's why you thought that. Because that is the title.
Mm, how long are you going to stay in Japan? Uh, I don't know. I didn't book a return flight. <laughs> Turns out, here's the thing, guys. Turns out, if you just don't get on the plane back to Japan, you can just stay. Like, you just don't get on the plane and you just stay in Japan. That's crazy, huh? Who else is still in Japan? Nobody. Um, I believe I'm the only person here. Unless someone else also didn't get on the plane. But I'm pretty sure everybody got on the plane. How long are you allowed to stay in Japan for? Uh, until the policeman knocks on my hotel room door. Sumimase, you are here illegally. Please leave our country. I've been uh, learning Japanese alphabet. It is really hard. I only know five letters. A, I, U, E, O. That's it. That's about the extent of my Japanese knowledge. And then there's also a kaki kuke ko. There's about 20 letters in the alphabet. I got about 10 of them. So, you know, making good progress. Although that took me a week. In about two months, I'm going to learn every single letter in the alphabet. Because you stayed in Japan when you were supposed to go back. That is correct. You could just stay, chat. And they're not gonna, they can't do anything about it. What are they going to do? Force you on the plane back? This is another big brain play by this guy's toast. Hmm. Our uh, visa is actually good for 90 days. So I'm, I'm here legally, Chad, before you guys start calling the cops. Um, but our visa is one time entry. So you can enter the country one time with the visa we got but if you leave you can't come back you have to get new visas which is like a whole process it took us like two months to get these visas so i'm like well, if it take it took us that long to get these visas i might as well take advantage of it Are you going to play Rust event from Japan? Yes, I have to. I mean, I don't know. I don't know if I'm staying that long. The Rust event is in, what, two weeks? There's no way I'm staying two weeks, right? No way. Two weeks, that is a long time. They need me back at OTV. What about all the kids in California running around? Without guidance. What are you going to do? Do you know anyone in Japan? Uh, I know like... I mean, I don't have friends friends, but I have acquaintances. Um... Like four of them. I probably won't be messaging them because I'm shy. He, I could like message people. Like one of them asked me to go out for dinner. On Thursday. I might say yes. Or my shyness might get the better of me. and say no. Um, we'll see. I might get too lonely. 
I think it's isolating, like living by yourself already. I, I know that because I live by myself. But it's especially isolating when you don't speak the language. I went out today and I thought, wow, this is really cool. I'm just like a nobody here. And then I realized I couldn't speak the language and I felt like really awkward doing anything. I couldn't, I felt bad like just ordering food because I have to do um, finger pointing at the pretty pictures um but it, it is a different experience from what i'm used to so that's fun um luckily i have you guys to talk to damn it am i gonna have to rely on twitch chat for social interaction i mean that's kind of a good thing right oh my god this is so weird if you're like just observing as a third party this dude can't speak the language in a foreign country, have no friends, so resorts to talking to himself online on the internet. Oh, you know, better than talking to myself to nobody, because that, that, that would be cringe. Tell us, why did you stay in Japan? You know, that is a really loaded question. Why did I stay in Japan? I just thought about going back to the states and i realized what you know i'm gonna do and back in the states the highlight of my week was sussy sunday <laughs> don't get me wrong you know sussy sunday is a sunday it is a day but should it really be the highlight of my week um Cause I kind of know everything that's going to happen. If I go back to LA, maybe someone asked me to play Valorant for the day. Maybe I tried this game at night. Maybe I go on, do a podcast at the OTV house and then Sussy Sunday on Sunday. I could kind of like just imagine me living my life day to day. Um, at least here, I feel like it's definitely harder, but more different. Maybe I should uh, hang out with Japanese people. There, there are people I can hang out with. Um, Sid and Jody met these two Japanese girls, and they're super nice. They just met them um, at a club, and I met them, and they're super friendly. I think if I asked them to hang out, they would. Uh, I guess... Well, maybe. Can't you meet PewDiePie? I mean, chat, I did not fly halfway around the world to meet other content YouTubers. I mean, he wants to grab dinner, sure, but... Um, Chad is kind of obsessed with the idea of me meeting PewDiePie because apparently Chad thinks he's the only other person in Japan. There are other people in Japan, Chad. Those girls would love it if you asked them to dinner. Where are you getting that? Do you, do you know them? Have you met them? You're just saying that. What's wrong with you? Do those girls speak English? I'll let Sid and Jody tell the story when they stream. That is not my story to tell. I mean, they were very nice. We took cute pictures together at one of those photo booths that make your eyes super big and make your skin super pale. If you saw the picture on Jody's Twitter, they made Sydney white. That's, that's cool. Uh, did you buy anything in Japan? Yeah, I bought this shirt. 
it's it's a white t-shirt i think the difference with this shirt is the cut is below the elbow which is very different because most shirts the cut is above the elbow so it gives it a baggy look and japanese pants are also very baggy Like they wear, they wear pretty uh, baggy stuff is what I noticed. I think it's because they're super skinny. Like Japanese people are like thin. And baggy clothing looks good on skinny people. So I'm trying to, I'm trying it out. But it's also hard to lose weight here because the food's really good and it's really cheap. I live off 7-Elevens by the way. Um, I think today I had breakfast, lunch, and dinner at 7-Eleven, which is kind of sad, I know. But uh, right now, I'm in my awkward phase where um, because I have no friends here, I can't go to a restaurant with someone. And I just feel really awkward just being a foreigner in a Japanese restaurant pointing at pictures. I mean, the 7-Eleven is good. Hmm. I'm trying to think how I would make content in Japan. I probably can't make gaming content. I thought about making like vlog content, but I'm getting anxiety with making vlog content. And I know you what you're gonna say, Chad. You're gonna say, Toast, we love you. We'll watch anything you put out. Thank you. I appreciate that. It's very kind. Um, I, I definitely think I am overthinking it. I think if I vlog, the content will be fine. Like on YouTube, like people, will, I think at this point, people will watch me do anything um, with my audience because you know how when you watch YouTubers, they do this thing like 60% of you watch this video, but you're not subscribed. Um, I asked my editor to pull up the stats. I think 70% of the people who watch my videos are subscribed. <laughs> um, so I think I, I do have like a fan base that will just watch whatever. Um, I just don't. I, I just start feeling guilty about putting out like weird content. But then again, I put out a Fall Guys video and that was double the viewership of any Among Us video. You know, big shout out to my editor for that one. He hard carried it. Also a big shout out to me for winning a Fall Guys tournament. I'm a Lily Peach refugee, welcome. All Lily Peach refugees are welcome. Especially if you still have a sub left over. Um, because they refund you that sub. But, um, I don't know. How many people are left to go to YouTube? Myth... Wait. He already left, right? Okay, okay. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I've been in Japan. I don't know. Like, I, th I thought I heard it. But then again, I've been in Japan for... Um, three weeks now? I'm like, wait, did I... Did I hear it? Or am I dreaming again? Oh, thank God. <clears throat> Toast, are you Japanese? No. 
which is something I lament because people think I'm Japanese here and they start speaking Japanese to me. I always have to say English, 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 English. And it's embarrassing, man. Sometimes I wish I was white. Actually, I wish that all the time. At least you know Chinese. That is true. But it is confusing because um, Japanese characters uses Chinese characters except um, they pronounce it differently. Like it would be the same Japanese character and it's like three syllables long and it's blowing my mind because in Chinese, Chinese characters are one syllable. But in Japanese, Chinese symbols are multiple syllables. I'm like, I don't understand. You're using Chinese characters in Japan, but it's also pronounced differently. Those you seem depressed, sending you hugs. I would say this is the... Happy is a strong word. I'm not someone who used the word happy. Um, very often. But I feel more fulfilled just because... um. I'm doing new things. I haven't done new things in a long time. How long are you gonna stay in Japan? Oh, I wish I, I wish there's a way to like answer something and have it not asked. Not not that there's anything wrong with asking. You probably just came in the last five minutes. Um like a bot command. But all my mods are sleeping because I think in America time it's like what 8 a.m. And most people aren't awake. How long am I staying? I don't know yet. Could be a week, two weeks, three weeks, four weeks, five weeks. I don't think it'll be five weeks. Unless, I don't know. I do have obligations back in the States, though. I have two things. I have to, well, three things. Well, four things. Four things? Five. Five things? I have five things I have to um, go back to the States for. I think if I didn't have things to do, I think I would stay for as long as I can, but I can't. I have um, really important business stuff to do in the States. But yeah, I'll probably do the Rust tournament um, from Japan, which is going to be hard because all I have is a doo-doo laptop. But then I, I'm never really the carry in the Rust tournament. I'm just going to farm anyway. I let my co-captain do all the heavy carrying each June. We're building out our team right now. Um, there's going to be four teams. Each team has 40 players. Me and Hayes June are trying to figure out who's going to be on our team. Um, he's responsible for getting all the Rust players. I'm responsible for getting all the casual players. Oh yeah, my ping's going to be really high. Ugh. Have you gone to any of the anime cafe? Uh, no. I don't think I would go unless... No, I, I can't go because the only reason I would go is for content. But they don't let you film in there, so I'm like, why would I go? Is Tarek playing? I mean, he's invited. But the last time we invited him, he piloted a helicopter and crashed it within five minutes. Because are you still going to be in offline TV? No, I quit offline TV. That's why I can stay. That was the only uh, bond I have left tethering me to California.
And only after breaking the bond can I become stronger. Like Sasuke Uchiha from the hit show Naruto. Which is why I went to Japan. Because Sasuke is from Japan. And when I walk around the subway, I'm blasting like Sasuke's theme song. I'm not even, I'm not, you guys think I'm joking, but I'm not even joking. I can show you my phone right now. It's nothing but Naruto theme songs played. <laughs> Can you stream Naruto again? Definitely while I'm not in... Definitely not while I'm in Japan. Because they can definitely arrest me. <laughs> Hell, if they found out I was here, they might try and get me while I'm in Japan. Like, when I was in the States, they couldn't do anything. Because it was like, oh, wow. I mean, different laws, different countries. But I, I'm in Japan right now. Please don't tell anyone I'm here. Yeah, um, today's plan is uh, a sponsored stream and then I'm going to bed. <laughs> Just like all my streams in Japan. Maybe I'll do a regular stream at some point, but I don't have an IRL backpack. Guess I could walk around with a phone, but... I don't know, streaming is such a pain. Like, I think streaming is only fun if you're meeting new people and I do the opposite of meeting new people. I don't meet new people. You can borrow one? I mean, I could borrow one, but I just, I, I don't want to. Any sussy Sunday update? Um, nope. I'm in Japan. I mean, maybe I can... I can definitely host a lobby from Japan. I don't think that would be hard, but... Do I really want to play Among Us while I'm in Japan? Like, I feel like if I play Among Us... If I played Among Us, it wouldn't be for me. It would be for, like, the viewers or other people who want to play Among Us. Is that I want to post in the background? It is! Good eye! People are on the lookout for three criminals, known pirates, stealing from the innocent on the seven seas. The most surprising thing, I got this from the One Piece store, the official One Piece store, so this is legit, by the way. Um, the most surprising thing about this is this is only uh, $4. It's four, $4. You try to buy this at American Anime Expo, it's like 20. They sell this for 4 bucks at the official One Piece store. So I I had to get it. I thought about getting the whole set, but that's too much. Uh, there's a... I'm a huge One Piece fan, if you can't figure it out. Rora Noah Zoro. They have the whole set. But I don't love the other characters that much, like Frankie and Robin and Chopper and Nami and Usopp. They're like, meh. I hate Sanji's poster because it's so, like, a joke. And Nami, uh, Sanji's my favorite character. Yeah, I bought these for um, $4 each. Yeah, that's crazy. And I have to keep them in perfect condition before I bring them back to the States. Hmm. 
They didn't want to stay with you. No. How long did you stay in Japan for? I don't know. Why did you stay in Japan? Because I could. I'm good. I'm just gonna. I'm not even gonna read chat when I see those. When I, I'm just gonna. I'm not gonna like answer those questions when I read in chat. I'm just gonna say every ten minutes. So every ten minutes, you're gonna see hear me randomly answer those three questions for no reason. Do you guys know in Japan, Kit Kats are very popular. And they have all kinds of flavor of Kit Kats. They got strawberry Kit Kats. Which isn't like super weird. It's like, I can see it, strawberry chocolate. And then there's matcha Kit Kats. It's like, okay, I mean, I guess some Japanese people like matcha, so that would make sense. And then there's Graham Cracker. Kit Kats, and then you're like, that's weird. That's weird. And this is just like three. I'm I'm gonna hit up a Kit Kat store and just buy a whole bunch of Kit Kats. I don't know, man. I'm sure there's content there somewhere, but I can't figure it out. I can't figure out how to do content anymore. You know why? It's because it's been, it's been three weeks since I did content. I'm like, I forgot how to do content, especially IRL content. <gasps> So I'm in a lot of trouble, Chad. I don't know what to do anymore. I, I lost my mojo. Like sometimes I think to myself later and I'm like, why are people watching my content, bro? It's so weird. I'm just like, why would you, why does, why, why would you watch a guy eat Disneyland snacks? I think that video has like 1.2 million views. Why do 1 million people watch me eat Disneyland snacks? I'm not. They even good give a good review, man. So like I'm getting in my head again. I always do this every now and then. I'm like I try and think about why people watch me and try and like play into it and like, oh maybe they watch me because of this, I should do more of that. Like Among Us is easy because like I know why people watch me for Among Us and when I play Among Us I just I'm just like being smart. But when it comes to IRL content, I'm like, why are why are people watching me? Um, so, I don't know. It's throwing me off. I think I try to... Like, right now, what I notice is I always try and be witty. It's very tiring. Because I feel like everything I say has to be witty, and I don't like that. Sometimes I just want to say normal things. Like, hey cool I like shorts like what normal people say oh, yeah things normal people talk about um also I went to Disneyland for a second time in a week so I got dragged I mean, drag's a strong word I got enticed Entices is not the right word. I was presented an opportunity to go to Disneyland with one of our interns. And originally I wasn't going to go, but no one was going to go with them. So I'm like, well, I guess they need someone to go with them. So I went to Disneyland and it was like two hours from closing. And I knew, we knew it was going to be two hours before close. And I'm like, are you sure you want to go? We only have two hours to go on all the rides. And they're like, yeah. <laughs> so I went to Disneyland and it took an hour to get there. We just, we ran around and rode rides for two hours, which was really fun, but it was only two hours. I mean, usually when you go to Disneyland, it's a whole day thing. Um, so I'm like, all right, I got that out of the way. I went to Tokyo, I went to Disneyland, you know, something off my checklist. And then, after everyone flew home, but Broden, Sydney, and Jody stayed, uh, we got to Tokyo, and, you know, it was in the evening time, so you couldn't really do anything, like, too grand. And I asked them, hey, what do you guys want to do? They said they want to go to Disneyland, and I and I look at the time. I'm like, wow, guys, it's 
six o'clock and Disney closes at nine o'clock and it takes us an hour to get there. So that leaves us two hours to do anything. And also, by the way, I went four days ago. Do you guys really want to go to Disneyland? And they're like, yep, we really want to go to Disneyland. So in less than a week, I went to the exact same Disney park. Here's the thing. There's two Disney parks at the Disneyland here. There's Disney Sea and Disneyland. And I went to the same one. Both times. In less than a week. Spending two hours each time. <laughs> but it was really fun. I mean, it was still like very fun both times. Not necessarily because we got on a lot of rides, but it's because we did go on a lot of rides because, you know, we only had two hours. Um, but it was still fun. Um, the first time was fun because we were just running around doing as much rides as we could. The second time was fun because we went to a Disney boat and got wasted on wine at Disneyland. So that was fun. I greatly enjoyed that one. I miss uh, I miss having everyone here a little bit. I was watching like vlogs of people and like remembering all this stuff we did and it seemed like so long ago but it was a week ago like I I was watching us like have dinner together, biking up the river together. And I'm glad people were vlogging. I like, a lot of times like people don't like people vlogging cuz they like living the moment but um watching those vlogs allow me to kind of remember those moments. It was a lot of fun. But now, I'm all alone. Which is kind of what I wanted, but now that I'm actually doing it, it's a little daunting. It's very intimidating. Like, I thought I'd be loving it. I'm kind of loving it, but I'm also like, kind of scared. But, um,. I think it beats just staying at home. Did you get closer to anyone? Yeah, all the guys, because I saw all their penises. You, you, like you see someone's penis you will get close to them emotionally not physically physically you want to be as far away from them as possible hey toast i'm in tokyo do you want to hang out <laughs> hell no I don't hang out with fans. Well, no offense, but I know you're cool and all because you watch this guy's toes, but you know, I got I got have my boundaries. Can you invite Tarek to Japan? I invited him. <laughs> he didn't say yes. Oh, one of my favorite uh, moments from this trip was when we were drinking and we were pub crawling on the streets of Tokyo and Shinjuku and we left a bar and it was me, Michael, Broden, John, Sydney, Jody and so in Shinjuku there's a lot of um, Nigerian um I wouldn't call them scammers, but they they try and convince you to go into a club to like talk to women and party, and there's a lot of them. Um, they're hustlers. 
advertisers. I think it's the way to say it. And I just remember we walked past one and this guy goes, Hey guys, you guys look into potty? And Michael's like full enthusiasm. Hell yeah. But I can't. And <laughs> walks away right in front of him. <laughs> that was really funny. I just flats out look at him, answer so sincerely, because Michael was down to party. But we had to go home. Because it was like 4 a.m. Because most people just <laughs> most people just ignore like the scammers on the street. But that was hilarious. <clears throat> I go into Japanese gyms. I went to one Japanese gym today. It's very weird. I like. I kind of like your system, where every machine has a sign up sheet, and you sign up for a machine in twenty minute intervals. So, for every twenty minutes, you get a machine all to yourself, um, which I think is pretty neat. Um. Because of COVID, they want people to be like, okay, you're going to use it for 20 minutes, you're going to use it for 20 minutes, you're going to use it for 20 minutes. I know those Japanese people are not very... They're all skinny. And there was like two Japanese personal trainers there. And I'm pretty sure I had more muscles than them. Not a flex or anything. But in America, in America, personal trainers are like jacked. Like they're like super ripped and in shape but in japan i saw the personal trainers i'm like bro you're just a regular dude i mean they knew what they were doing but they were just regular dudes I stayed in Japan because I'm going to answer this for the one millionth time. I just didn't really like the idea of going back to America and sitting in front of my PC, browsing social media. Over here, I still kind of do that on my phone, but I'm also kind of forced to go out. And it's very anxiety, anxiety inducing because today I went, to, I took, okay, this is going to sound so lame. I took the subway for 20 minutes to go to a camera shop to find a piece of equipment I needed. But it's one of those equipment that they won't have on display. It's a specialized piece of equipment. And all I had to do was go up to the worker and say, like, point to it and say, like, do you have or use a translator app to ask? But when I stepped in, and I saw like the five Japanese workers there, I got filled with so much social anxiety. I walked around a bit and then I left without asking. And then I took the train back 20 minutes. I just spent an hour doing that. And all I had to do was just work up the the nerves to ask a very normal question to a guy who's literally paid to answer questions at the store. Um, so, I don't know. But then I went to a Japanese clothing store and I purchased some stuff, so... I got over it, kinda. Um, so, yeah. Not used to feeling this way. Would you go to Taiwan after? I thought about it, but I don't think I can because, again, I have um, things to handle back in the States. Yvonne used to be bullied. If I don't go back and bully Yvonne, she's going to get an ego.
Content. Content. What do people do in Japan? I mean, I have some ideas, but the idea of filming myself at a Japanese establishment is also very dreadful because everyone is so quiet. Uh, Jay Trich, thanks for the 10 gift sub. I don't normally thank subs, but for 10 gift sub, I will say thank you. Fifty dollars? Well, thanks. Um, I feel really bad filming in Japan because every single store sign says no photography. People really do not like having their pictures taken. Mm, and my camera's kind of big. So I don't know how to film stuff that involves going inside a store. Like, I can't even, I don't think I can, like, film in 7-Eleven. I've done it with my phone, and I felt super guilty about it. Why not go to a love hotel? Again, guys, I do not lack ideas. I lack the permission to film, and I don't think a love, well, I mean, a love hotel will allow me to film from the inside. Am I going to the Love Hotel with anyone? Am I going by myself? Hang on, you're banned someone from chat. They said, Toast, you look tired, get some sleep, which is A, backseating what I look like. This is just my face, bro. And B, telling me what to do. And I know someone's just like, Toast, he's just concerned about you, but. Again, I'm a 30-year-old man. And the person who typed it is probably a teenage child. Has fans found you? Yeah. I mean, I get recognized probably once every time I go out, which is still a lot, all things considered. Because um, I'm in a foreign country and nobody technically knows I'm here. But... I think I'm just really popular. Oh. <laughs> when we met the Japanese girls and um, they brought two more Japanese friends and I was introducing myself, they saw my Among Us sticker. And they're like, oh, Among Us. You play Among Us. And I said, yeah, I stream Among Us. Number one Among Us player. And Jody and Sydney gave me an eye roll. Like I was lying. Which I'm not. Okay? I literally won the Twitch Rivals Among Us tournament. And the lobby stats for every single one of our Among Us game ranks me as number one. As crewmate, imposter, and special roles. What, what do you want from me? The math's there. I am not wrong when I told the Japanese girls number one Among Us streamer. The number one Among Us player. The evidence is there. Did they believe you? Well, the girls believed me. Jo uh, Jody and Sid definitely did not believe me. <laughs> Tell us why do you have Mickey Mouse merch behind you? I went to Disneyland. I got matching Disney shirts with the intern. It says Disney besties. She talks in Zoomer terms. So I don't understand half the things she says. And I think she unironically likes the minions. By the way, in Japan, they fucking love minions. I don't know why. I don't know if everyone in Japan is in on the joke or something. But they love. love you don't understand how much they like minions. That's a minions restaurant. In Shibuya. 
There's a Minions pop-up store in Ikebukuro. They love Minions. When I go to a Crane Game arcade, 30% of the machine has Minion plushies in them. You really like your Minions. Alright, in 10 minutes, we will be doing a sponsored segment chat. You guys knew this was coming. Toast is streaming in Japan. At midnight, midnight my time. What could it mean? It can only mean one thing. He's got a sponsored stream. Uh, what do you guys want to talk about for 10 minutes? Did you do karaoke? We did karaoke once. There was a karaoke room in a hotel lobby, which was sick, by the way. It's right there in the hotel. Um... And we all went to sing. All the streamers. Um, I forgot what we sang. I'll be honest. Okay. On this trip, it's been 14 days. I was drunk for about 10 of them. I'm not exaggerating. We drank so much on this trip. Like so much we also had a night where we stayed up till 7 a.m when some when like people were talking about oh let's do like an all night japan drinking till the sunrise night i'm like oh that's just a joke right like that's an exaggeration something you talk about doing but you're not actually doing we actually did it And it was so exhausting to drink and party until 7 a.m. Because I, like, unlike the others, I'm, like, one of the oldest, mem like, streamers on this trip. I'm, I'm, I'm old, man. I am, like, very old. And I, c I can't keep up with the youngins. Did you meet PewDiePie by any chance? Chat. Japan has like, I don't know, a billion people. Why are you guys so obsessed with me meeting PewDiePie? Mods, if anyone mentioned meeting PewDiePie, just ban them. I can't, I can't handle it anymore. I'm just gonna message food by hey, I'm in Japan, you're in Japan, and we're both YouTubers, so I guess we should hang out. That's fucking cringe, chat. Please let people live their life. I think the last thing PewDiePie wants is for to move to Japan to get like a fresh environment and for people to show up. Hey, PewDiePie, is that you? You wanna you wanna like collab or something? What's wrong with you guys? You guys are the reason why he moved to Japan. To get away from cringe lore like you guys. It's like, oh, PewDiePie's around? I better hit him up. I better grab a picture. I better try and get his attention. Let the man live his life. Can we get a room tour? You're looking at it. This is the entire room. It's a hotel room. It's got some. It's a that's a picture of two carpets next to each other. Um it's, I don't know what it means, but 
We went to a museum. Holy shit. Let me tell you guys about the museum we went to. I think... Our tour guide booked the wrong museum because the museum we went to, no offense, was so... It was so bad that it became good. It was ironically good, but unironically bad because um, I hope I'm not offending any Japanese people. It was featuring Yoko Ono's work. And for those who don't know, Yoko Ono was the wife of John Lennon from the Beatles. And she's kind of... She's kind of a mess. Um, so we showed up and... We go through the front door, and the first thing I see on a giant marble tablet carved into it said Yoko Ono, and it's a poem. You know what's the worst thing? I bought a shirt from that museum. No, that's underwear. Where's my Yoko Ono shirt I paid $60 for? Ironically, of course. Not because I want to. Ah, here we go. Earth peace. Listen to the sound of the earth burning. 1963. Spring. Trademark. Yoko Ono. Yeah, I paid $60 for that. Um, not because I resonate at all with the garbage written on it. It's because it's funny. <laughs> ironically. I bought it ironically, guys. So now, if you ever see me, I'm sure it'll show up in someone's vlog. Um, but now, when I wear that shirt, if you guys see me wear that shirt, you guys know it's like, oh, it's an ironic shirt. Yeah, that was 60 bucks. <laughs> Sometimes I wake up in Japan and I don't know where I am. Like yesterday I woke up and I thought I was in America. Like, I opened my eyes. And I'm, I got so confused for a second. That why am I not in my room? I think I've spent too long in Japan. Okay, honestly, I sometimes I think like, man, I should just gone back, gone home. But I think it's just the uh, isolation talking. I also thought about just hopping on a train and just leaving. And going to another city. That's what Michael wanted to do. But Michael is much more brave than me. I can't, if I'm too far away from technology, like, I get scared. But that also sounds kind of nice, just hop on a train. But I also think about content, if I'm thinking about content. Maybe I just don't do content here, I just enjoy my next three weeks. Oh, my head is racing. So did I say three weeks? I mean three days, because I'm definitely heading back to California very soon.
Alright, I'm gonna take a pee and then we can start. It's so close I could smell it. <laughs> okay, I'm in a tiny ass hotel room, man. This like <laughs> I also left the door open. <laughs> but I left the tap running, so yeah. I washed my hand, guys. The tap was running. Okay, you can tell because my hands are wet. But I dried it, so that's why they look dry, okay. I dried it. I dried it before I came out of the bathroom. That's why it looks dry. All right. <clears throat> Sponsor segment. Chat, I'm really good at being sponsored. See, most people won't sponsor someone to play a free-to-play game. Because, you know, it's free. But, you know, I am this guy's Toast. And they're like, Toast, even though the game is free, we still want to pay you to advertise it. Mo -t Did they release LeBron James yet? Playing open beta multi versus ha hashtag add exclamation mark multi versus. I'm so good at this. Are you gonna be playing with anyone? Uh, I don't think so. I need to do my Instagram story. Share. Instagram, god damn. Alright chat. <clears throat> Today's stream was sponsored by Multiverses. And by sponsored I mean it only happened because of Multiverses. Because I was not going to stream. <laughs> So today's stream was solely due to this sponsor, you would say. So you guys better show some appreciation to Multiverses for Warner Brothers Bros and developed by Play First Game. Multiverses <gasps> is an all new free to play platform fighter featuring team based matchups with an ever expanding cast of iconic characters. <gasps> Everything you earn and unlock is yours to keep from open beta chat. So if you were to, you know, play multiverses right now and you're like, oh no, it's just beta. I wouldn't keep any of my progress. Well, you're wrong and stupid. <laughs> because you get to keep anything you unlock from open beta. Now you might be asking, Tell us, how do I try open beta? Well, you can simply click on an image below the stream player uh, that says multiverses or you can type exclamation mark multiverses in chat and click on the link that will allow you to download multiverses it is available on playstation xbox and pc with cross play and cross progression so you keep everything between platforms and you can play with anyone from other platforms streamer repeat 
streamer remember to repeat the call to action and the FTC disclosure every 30 minutes. Do not read this part out loud. So thank you to Warner Brothers Interactive for sponsoring this stream. Let's get started. Okay, so I tried finding an Xbox controller to do this. For whatever reason, Xbox controllers in Japan completely sold out. I went to three different electronic store. Every single one sold out. I don't understand. Or maybe they just don't like um, Xbox in Japan because they like Sony. That's, that's my only theory because I could not find they did have PlayStation controllers, but I prefer Xbox controllers when I play on um, the PC. Servers are down for 30 more minutes. What do you mean the servers are down? There's no way the servers are down. I can't talk to chat for 30 minutes? No, don't, don't make me talk to chat. I need to talk to them for a whole hour. Please. Hmm. 21 more minutes. Okay. All right. Um, hmm. Let's talk about our favorite multiverses character. I am a big fan of Jake the dog. And I heard they introduced LeBron James, my favorite character <laughs> from the Warner Brothers universe. <laughs> he, uh, he dribbles a basketball. Right, that's all I got. Wasn't oh, there Rick and Morty? I think they announced Rick and Morty, right? Or everyone? Well, they're definitely gonna do Rick and Morty because they already have Mr. Meeseeks. So they're gonna do Sussy Sunday this week. Every time someone asks that, I delay Sussy Sunday by one more week. I told you guys this last week that I would do that. And that's why there was no, no Sussy Sunday last week. And you just asked if there was Sussy Sunday this week. So there's no Sussy Sunday this week. Now you have to wait till next week. Also, people are free to have Sussy Sunday lobbies without me. Wasn't there a Sussy Sunday lobby last week? Abe tried to put Abe put one on, right? Yeah, guys, you don't need me for Sussy Sunday. There is Sussy Sundays, but they're pretty scuffed. Well, I mean, if Abe's running it. <laughs> Where do you get the game? Well, you can click the link in the chat bot. Bot. Chat box. Chat. Bot box or the panel below the stream. 
We want the legit Sussy Sunday, guys. What if I told you Sussy Sundays were, were canceled? No, I, I don't want to cancel it. I don't have a right to... Look, guys, I don't own Sussy Sundays. People are free to host and play Sussy Sundays without me. They don't need me there. I wouldn't say Disguised Toast is the reason for Sussy Sundays, right? Sussy Sunday isn't just one individual. Sussy Sunday is a collective, like the Avengers. But I'm Iron Man, and also Captain America. But you know this Hawkeye, still? Um, the Hulk, Thor's in it too. Ant Man. So, there's still other cool people. Just not um, Iron Man or Captain America. Uh, I'll, I'll think about it. If my YouTube channel needs content, I'll do it. If not, I'm not going to do it. <laughs> That's what I'll be basing my decision on. So, Sussy Sundays without you is just like 10 Hawkeyes. Ho ho ho! Whoa! I mean, thank you, but come on. That's no way to talk about my friends. <laughs> Hawkeye's pretty cool. He's got... Um, he's got... Um, he's got a bow. Tell us how's Japan. It is a, it is, I would say, emotional roller coaster. I think on this trip, I had like this much high moments and this much low moments. It is, it is, it was an emotional pendulum to a point where I think I got like teary eyed five separate times this trip. I don't know why. Because I think my emotion just kept from going like really happy to like really sad to really excited to really upset to really, you know, satisfied to really uh, stressed. Like, bah, 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 bah. too drunk now. I'm pretty sure I was sober for all of these. It did make me drink, though. Like, I drank a lot on this trip as a way to cope with stress. I'm not an alcoholic, like, since since then I haven't drank. And by then, I mean two days ago. <laughs> but, um... After, like, the day was done during this Japan, like, these Japan trip days, I, I was, like, pounding sake. Oh, you know what's funny? For some reason, I've had, like, multiple people come up to me while I'm here. And they say, oh my god, this guy's toast. I am such a huge fan. Like, I've been watching you since forever. Like, I've been watching you since Among Us. And of course, I'm like, oh, wow, thank you so much. Sense Among Us? Damn! You have been watching me a long time. In my head, I'm a bitch that's less than a year ago. That was the last thing I did! Now, whenever someone comes to me and say, Oh, I've been watching you since Hearthstone, or I've been watching you since TFT, it's like, Oh, you know, I, I can kind of like see the level there, but. 
when they say, yeah, bro, I'm a huge fan. It's been two years since a month. Has it been two years? That's crazy. I can't believe we played Among Us for that long. Has it been two years? <gasps> it has, has it? My god. It's been two years? I No, no. That can't be. We just started playing Among Us like a few months ago, right? That hasn't been two years. There's no way I spent the last two years of my very short life on this earth playing Among Us. That's like 5% of my lifespan. Do you think they'll let me count the waiting for the server part of the stream as sponsored stream or is this not going to count at all? Not that I wouldn't mind if it didn't count because this game is really, really fun. I don't mind playing an extra 20 minutes of it. I might just play an extra hour even though I'm not sponsored to. Do you currently like someone? Yeah, your mother. What are you, a child? Do you currently like someone? But maybe. If that person was really a child, well, now they would know what to do or say to be more mature. This is a fun game, though. Like, I'm not being paid to say that. I'm being paid to play the game, I'm not being paid to say the game is fun, but the game is fun. I believe they looked at the stats, currently this game has more player base than any of the fighting games on PC combined. If you combine all the players from every single other fighting games on Steam, it doesn't even have the same amount of player base, so you know, I think that kind of speaks for itself. Eight more minutes uh, until the server comes up, I hope. Well, if it doesn't come up, maybe I'll stream uh, later. And by later, I mean when I wake up. But then I will have to talk to chat again, and you know how I feel about that.
Asia region log? I don't think it's an Asia region thing, is it? Is it up in North America? They don't have any Asia servers. Wait, if they don't have Asia servers, how am I supposed to play? I'm from Asia. Oh. Um, I went to a Chinese restaurant here and they were serving dog. So I don't know why that came up. Oh, because we're talking about Asia. But they were serving dog. And I was so... Surprised. But then I realized, I mean, I guess I'm in Chinatown in Asia. I shouldn't be that surprised. I, I didn't order any. I had the shrimp. Yeah, I will pass on the dog for today. Can I just get the shrimp and the fried rice with pork? Pork, please. The pork fried rice. Is it legal in Japan? I don't know. I assume so, because they were selling it pretty openly. <laughs> they had an entire menu. But yeah, there's a, like a China, Chinese neighborhood and um, there in Tokyo and it's just like full Chinese it was kind of surreal Restart the game. No, I'm gonna wait five more minutes. If the server isn't up, I'm gonna honestly do nothing about it because I can't do anything about it. We'll have a tic tac though. The game isn't available in Asia, that's why you can't get it. Shut up! Because I was playing this a week ago and I was in Asia. How was your flight to Japan? It was great. I was flying business class. Oh, suck. They treated me like royalty. And it felt very special. Because they treat the economy passengers like shit. Which made me feel better by comparison. Because that's how class warfare works. It's not enough that you're treated nice. You have to see others get treated worse so that you get scared of them and you feel superiority. That's why the middle class was invented. To keep the lower class down. And the lower class's job is to scare the middle class while the upper class 
I don't want that profit. Wake up, people. Toes, aren't you part of the upper class? No, I'm a, a blue collar worker just like you guys. That's why you should donate money to me and buy my merch. Because I actually don't have that much money. I'm like, I'm like, I'm one of you guys. I'm part of people. You think a streamer will pretend to not have that much money? I'd be messed up. I be messed up. I am relatable. Alright. I'm gonna restart the game and hopefully it works. When's your merch coming out? Uh I wanna say end of the year. I had, I got a huge compliment. Um at the airport. I was wearing it and John and Jody were like, where did you get that designer hoodie? And I was like, yeah. <laughs> it's mine. Um, so that was nice. I mean, it's going to be super expensive chat. I don't know if you guys can afford it. I don't mean that in like a taunting way. It's like, oh, I don't know if you can afford this. It's just really like high quality. And that's why it will be like, I think like at least a hundred dollars at the bare minimum. Maybe even 200. I don't know. I need to check the math on that one. Please restock your plushie. I did. Okay. Well, I didn't really. Well, I know I, I, we got like 500 made and we're like, okay, anything we don't sell at anime expo was we'll sell online. Sold out like in the first day again. Like I don't, I don't know. Like I, I can't get enough of my plushies to sell. It keeps selling out, and it never reaches the online portion. We sold it at the McDonald's pop up, and then we sold it again at Anime Expo, and people just keep buying it. I'm mean, granted I sell it for like twenty bucks, but still. Oh god, there's no Asia server. There's no Asia server, guys. I can't play. I can't. Oh no, this is bad. Oh no, oh no, no, no. Oh god, oh god. I can't play. I can't do my sponsored stream. Let me ask them any ideas. Because I told them. I told them. I said, uh. Well, I told the agency. The agency. All right. I'm going to stream at this time and go live on this hour. Is that okay? And they were like, nope. Those the servers are down for me if that makes you feel better. That does not make me feel better. But thank you for asking. It's very kind of you. Is this the LeBron James update? Ooh, there's a new Among Us update. Um, ability to change map and lobby settings. You fuckers, it's been two fucking years. <sighs> why is that a, why is that a, like a entire update post?
As of the next update, the hide and seek is still the big update we're working on getting out this year. Okay, maybe Among Us VR would be good. Will you play another game? Uh, I'll see what the sponsor says. Those, the drops are disabled. That's because it's an open beta chat. You don't need drops anymore. You can just play. All right, I'm gonna answer very important business emails then. And I could be lying, I could be answering anything. I was not answering uh, important business email. Let's see, what else did I do in Japan? Um, hmm. People ask me what my favorite moment was. I think there's two that stands out. One was biking up Kyoto River. The other was going to the bar from the movie Lost in Translation with Bill Murray and Scarlett Johansson. It is about a foreigner that is in Japan to film a commercial and he runs into another foreigner. The wife of uh, the wife of a guy. There's some random dude who's there to work and they hit it off at a hotel bar which is a real bar um in japan and we went to that bar other top moments definitely the onsen i don't think i'll be forgetting that one anytime soon What else? We, we just did a lot of things. Our tour guide took us around a lot. I remember my feet dying day one and two because we just kept walking and walking. I think, oh, also, I'm pretty sure I lost feeling in my big toes, both of them, because they feel different. I can't feel the tip of my big toe anymore. It's kind of freaking me out. Because I think my nerves became dead over the course of this trip. And I don't know how to like, make it feel again like it just feels numb 
Like, has that ever happened to anyone? Like, just the big toe. Go see a doctor. I don't know any doctors in Japan. Ah. But yeah, no, I can't feel the front side of my big toe anymore. I mean, it doesn't hurt. It just, I just don't feel anything. The feeling comes back after a few days. Well, it's been, it's been a week. I think it was the day we went to Disneyland. Was it the day? No, no, no. It was the day I went up a fudging mountain in sandals. And not just regular sandals, like shitty bathroom sandals. Like from the onsen that I stole. Well, I didn't steal. Well, I know I did steal. Um, I, well, we went to a park and this park had a like a, like a, I want to say mountain, like a hill. And we weren't supposed to go up to it, but like, Michael's like, yo man, you want to hike this hill with me? I'm like, hell yeah, I will hike this hill with you, Michael. Because I don't want to look like a square or anything. So, um, I was wearing sandals. And... The mountain, I think, was three times bigger than we expected. We ended up turning back. And since then, I can't feel my big toe anymore. And I, I'm trying to, like, make it regain feeling, but it's not. And I'm worried. What if this is permanent? Maybe I'm just old. When we met the Japanese girls, they asked how old I was, and I said 30, and they're like, wow, huh? You don't look 30 at all, which means two things, that I look very young, and two, that I'm old. Because they were super shocked. Because you look 45, huh? I do. I act 45. I think hanging out with streamers make me act very old. When I walk around, I like put both my hands behind my back like an old man. Because let me tell you, streamers are just big children. <laughs> they, they really are, man. Streamers are big children. And I feel myself physically aging. With more streamers I hang out with.
Tell us, update the game, I updated it. It's still a server issue, guys. Stop spamming update! Mods, anyone who spams update, look, here's the problem. Chat sees one moron say, update the game, and being the parrots that they are, they all start saying, update the game, update the game, instead of thinking, maybe, the streamer knows what the fuck he's doing, because he's been doing it for seven years. Sorry, uh, multiverses. I'm just really upset because I love playing the game and I can't wait to play it. Maybe it's time for a VPN. Do I have a VPN? Yes, I do. Because I had to use it to watch the last episode of The Boys. If I use a VPN, it's definitely going to kill my stream. Unless I unplug my Ethernet cable. Wait, is it even up in North America, chat? No, oh, it's not even up on North America. For me it is. Chat, how, how am I getting different answers? The game is up in North America. Toast is not up for me. Servers are down for maintenance. It is not up in North America. Huh? Then I thought people are still playing. Every streamer I see is stuck on the welcoming page. But chat told me NA is up. I'm getting conflicting information. If you look at the multiverses directly on Twitch, other streamers doing something else.
some streamers facing the same problem. Yeah, I think they're just doing an update now for the new um, character LeBron. Did you guys watch the new Space Jam? All I know about the new Space Jam is they made Lola Bunny less sexy, which is why I refuse to watch it. Like, if you grew up in the 90s, you know Lola Bunny was probably the cause of a lot of um, confusing feelings. It's up everywhere at 12.20 EST. What's that in Japan time? <laughs> Hang on. One thirty EST. One... Okay. So in about 10 minutes the server's up. Which still might not work because I'm in Japan. So we'll give it 10 minutes and I think the servers are going to go up, but there's a chance it doesn't go up for me because I'm in Japan. So I might have to use VPN in about 10 minutes. And I think that's fine. VPN should work. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to unplug my Ethernet cable because I should have internet disconnection protection, which means the stream won't go down. It will just blue screen. And then I turn on my VPN and replug my Ethernet cable. Was I streaming on a laptop? Yeah. They did, we did bring a couple of PCs, like offline TV did here. And maybe I should have asked for one, but I was like, I don't want to carry a whole ass PC from Kyoto to Tokyo. Um, and it only had a 3080. And I'm like, yo, you got 3090 in there? <laughs> And they said, are you seriously asking for a 3090 graphics card so that you can stream Among Us? And I said, fair point, fair point. It's very fair. Okay. Chat, I'm going to get ready to unplug my Ethernet to turn on my VPN. That was it's still down for maintenance. Is my error message the same as North American error message? No, it's different. E You know what? Let me turn on VPN real quick. Hold your breath, chat. <sighs> VP. 
VPN, connect to Los Angeles, unplug Ethernet. Oh God, it's so laggy. Oh no, my bit rate is tiny. Chat, how's my, this is low quality, right? Okay. Maybe what I can do is connect to the game servers first and then turn off the VPN. Okay, uh, that did not work. I turned off the VPN, which made the stream quality better, but um, it actually kicks me out of multiverses, so there's no way I can connect to multiverses NA server and then turn it off to... not have my OBS be super laggy. All right, we'll wait two more minutes. If, if it's a maintenance issue, then hopefully this fixes it. But if not, uh, we'll probably have to figure something out. So have you considered using split tunneling so that only the VPN applies to the game? You genius. I do remember that being a thing. Oh yeah, that is a hundred percent a thing. Manage connections on a per app basis. Oh God. Mods. Give that guy VIP, he's a genius. That is so smart. I forgot you could do that. Well, yeah, yeah, you're right. We should wait to see if it works first. And if it doesn't work, we stop VIPing him, we just ban him. Only allow selected apps use.
Am I back? Okay. All right, are the servers up? Maintenance mode activated. Servers will be back online soon. Wait, I thought it was on maintenance mode. Uh oh. Also, did the maintenance mode just start? Hmm, maybe we have to move this sponsor stream, guys. Unfortunately. But on the bright side, that means I am guaranteed to stream at least one more time on this Japan trip. So it's a win-win situation either way. Let me just confirm though. Yeah, maybe we just uh, redo it at another time. Because it looks like the servers are still down and it's also down in NA. They're saying there's no Asia server, but I can easily uh, VPN in anyway. But even if I do, I think it doesn't matter because the servers are down for maintenance anyway. Just bad timing is all. Tells they have no Asia servers. Yeah, I know, but I have a VPN. Alright chat, I think uh, I might just call it here and push back the stream. Uh, I don't know if I, c I don't know when I'd be doing it. I mean, I can do it as soon as like I wake up tomorrow, but I kind of had plans. So, we'll see. 
thanks for watching guys sorry about that just think about just think of this as a little nice little bonus stream and the next uh, sponsor stream is the real one all right thanks for watching see you for the next sponsor stream which i think maybe tomorrow or the next day